Good morning, January 4th. Hey, Happy New Year now. If you want to follow along, uh, page 142 and 143 is where we're at. We're dealing with adjectives. I think you probably know more about adjectives than you might think. Uh, they're describing words. Now, uh, we're going to, to be honest with you, start off a little simpler here at the beginning. And I'll be honest, just in these few five days here for this school week, going to get extra challenging here at the end here. But but let's get down to just the basics of what an adjective is. Start us off right here, okay? An adjective describes a noun. Uh, you're right. Um, it, it tastes sweet. It's a sweet popsicle. The orange cat. The yummy eggs and toast. The pretty girl. The funny clown. Two flowers. Uh, those are all different ways to describe the nouns, right? If you're thinking, man, I know we talked about nouns way back in August. A noun is a person, place, thing, animal, right? Those are nouns. Remember the things that you can kind of touch and things like that, right? Uh, the animal, again, the striped cat. What kind of cat? The striped cat. The uh, red crayon. Cran is a noun. Red describes it. Adjectives answer certain questions. What kind? Which one? How many? And how much? I know that's honestly a lot of big English language mumble jumbo. But think about this. If, if you have a bunch of cars in a parking lot, if you're at Walmart and you meet a friend. And for whatever reason, they ask you about your car and say, there's my car. <laughs> now remember, you're in the Walmart parking lot, and, and there are hundreds of cars. Maybe not hundreds, but let, okay, just help me out here. There's a lot of cars, right? You need to describe the car to narrow it down because your friend might very well ask these questions. What kind of car is it? Which one? Right? What your friend is asking you to do is narrow it down, and boom, that's when you use adjectives. I know you tell your friend, hey, let me use some adjectives, but you would. That is the red, shiny, new car that is mine. Now, your friend isn't looking for black cars. He's not looking for white cars or blue cars. He knows it's a red car, and it's not the dirty, rusty one. It's a shiny, new one. You just narrowed it down, and you made a 100 cars in the parking lot, whoosh, Drink down to maybe one or two so your friend knows exactly where to look because he knows exactly what kind and exactly which one. Let's go back to this. These are nouns, right? Crayons. If you say, hey, please grab me a crayon, your friend might say, which one? You need to use adjectives to describe it. Please give me the red crayon. And it'll help him out, right? Now, how many and how much are also adjectives. Let me go back to this one. Like the flowers, the two flowers are in the garden. That answers how many, right? And you might say if you're at Walmart again and you the, the clerk says, okay, you owe me $30. You say, how much? $30. Dollars is a noun. That's a thing. How much? 30. 30 is the adjective describing the dollars. Look at the middle here. Modify is a big fancy pants English term for describe. Here you have a face. That's a noun, right? Notice there's no adjective. You need to describe it. It could be a happy face or it could be a sad face. Oh, ho, ho. Here you have some people. The cute girl, the tall man, the thin boy, the elderly grandma. You are describing them, and every single one of them is a person, a noun. But these words, the cute girl, tall man, thin boy, elderly grandma, those are describing the people. Again, if you have a bird, well, bird is a noun. It's a thing. It's an animal. The adjectives describe the bird. So you say, look. A bird. Maybe there's a hundred birds in the tree, but you need to describe it. The small yellow bird. Yellow is the adjective that describes the noun bird. Green is an adjective that describes the noun bird. 
Who is an adjective that describes a noun bird? Now, usually, usually, and I'm going to purposely circle this and keep saying the word usually, the adjective is placed right before the noun that they modify or describe. For instance, the blue bird, the green bird, the yellow bird. I'm purposely again going back to the word usually because already tomorrow we will see that it doesn't always come right before the noun. It can come after. We'll get to that tomorrow. But uh, at any rate, hey, look at this. They have all these different nouns. A clown, a desert, an egg, a park, a penny, an apple, a mom. But they're describing it with the adjectives. What kind of clown? The funny clown. Which desert? The hot desert. What kind of egg? The broken egg. So on, so forth. They always describe nouns. Now your job here, again, starting off easy, and I'm sorry, I know it's a little bit blurry. I think you can still make it out. I'm sorry for the blurriness. I don't know quite what happened. But they underline the noun for you. Your job is to circle the adjective that describes the underlying noun. Ask yourself, what kind? Which one? Kimmy told everyone a scary story on a camping trip. Story is a noun. You say, what kind of story? Scary story. Circle scary. Okay. Riley's mom poured her a cold glass of milk. Glass. Which glass? The cold glass. Now, today, you're only going to have one adjective per sentence. We're going to learn again tomorrow that, sent, that nouns can have multiple adjectives, but for right now, just find the one adjective, circle it, that describes the underlying noun. Lord's blessings, you guys, and to praise your Savior.